this is Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our third grade teach at home math video series. This is week three, day three. So the other day I heard a conversation between two kids. They were talking about how far they, they live from the school and how far they have to walk. And so one person said that I believe they walked a half a mile to get to school. And the other person said that they walked two fourths of a mile. And they, what the one who walked two fourths said that she walked the same amount as the, the little boy. And he just was not buying it. So I wonder, was she walking the same distance? If he walked a half a mile and she walked two fourths of a mile? Well, that's what we're gonna explore today. We're gonna continue learning about equivalent fractions but this time we're gonna do it on a number line. So come join me so we can figure out who is right. Did she walk the same amount? I don't know, come join me and find out. So we're gonna begin with that situation we just talked about when we were talking about the conversation I heard. So I'm just gonna repeat that conversation about what we heard so you can listen to what this, what this was all about. It went something like this. So the other day, I heard two kids talking. Seth said he walks a half a mile to school. Lynette said she walks the same distance to school. She walks two-fourths of a mile. Does Lynette walk the same distance? That was what was so crazy. Is one half of a mile the same as two-fourths of a mile? That's what we're trying to figure out. So Lynette says it is. Lynette says that one half of a mile, that one half of a mile is the same as, is the same as two fourths. She says it's the same as. You think that's true? Well, let's go and investigate this to see if that's really the same distance. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use our Cuisinaire rods. So if you have Cuisinaire rods, you can use them at home and follow along. If you don't, you can join us using the Braining Camp app. If you don't have the Braining Camp app, you can follow along. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to make a path for Seth and, and Lynette. So what they said is that they each walked to school. And Seth was very adamant of saying that when he walked to school, that he walked a certain part of one mile. So this is gonna be our path and it's gonna be from zero to one. This is gonna be the one mile mark right here. And we heard that the school was one half and Lynette says it's two fourths from her house and we're trying to figure out if it's the same. So let's see. What cubes, what rods could we use to represent one half? What would we have to make sure of? What would, how many pieces would we have to split our brown rod into to make sure it's one half? Hmm. Did you say two? So let's split that brown rod into two equal pieces. So do you agree that one purple piece is one half? Yeah, so we have a half, we have a half, plus a half, definitely. Okay, so now what I can do, because he only walked a half a mile, so Seth only walked from here to here, that's it. And he's saying that school is right here, and then that's one half, okay. Lynette said that she walks two-fourths of a mile, and she said that it's the same distance. Seth isn't buying it, though. So, let's see. What rod would we have to do to make sure we could see fourths? Did you say one that will break it up into four equal parts? Yeah, so let's try the red rod. Let's try the red rod here. So let's try the red rod. 
and see how many of those can go across. Yeah, that works again. And what that means is that each one of these pieces is one fourth, right? So again, Lynette says she only went two fourths. So I'm going to take these away because what do you see? When Lynette travels from zero to here, how many fourths has she traveled? One fourth, two fourths, two fourths. Well, is Lynette right? Did she travel the same distance? Yes. So that tells us that one half is the same as two fourths. That's pretty cool. So let's go back and let's look at that question again. Does Lynette walk the same distance? Well, let's recap. If I have a distance of one mile, Seth says he walks one half. Lynette says she walks the same if she walks two-fourths. So what could I do to this number line? Well, I could divide it up into four equal pieces. So now from here to here, that's one-fourth. And from here to here, that's two-fourths. Is one-half the same as two-fourths? Yeah, because it travels the same distance from zero to one-half or zero to two-fourths. It's at the same point. Hmm, that's interesting. So let's do a little practice here. So I have this person right here, and this person traveled four-sixths of the way. Four-sixths of a mile. And this person says they travel two-thirds. And they're trying to figure out, do they travel the same amount? Is four six the same distance as two thirds? I don't know. Can you look and see if it is? So look at the four six. Where does four six come on here? Where does four six? Did you say four six is right here? And how do you know that that's four six? Well, from zero to here is how much? One six. From here, two six. 3 6 4 6 yep it is so then we're saying he the other one went to 2 thirds well where is 2 thirds did you say it was right here because this one is if you travel the distance between here that's 1 third from here to here is two thirds. It's two thirds. And notice, what do you notice? They are the same. So we can see that they both traveled the same distance. So four six is the same as two thirds. It's really kind of cool. So let's practice this. So I've got my hole. So you see my hole, this is my hole. And this piece is in relation to the whole thing. So what is this purple piece called? It's called, what is it called? One half. And this piece, what is this piece called? Remember, it's called one half because it's two equal pieces. How many pieces would be on this side if there were some? It'd have to be the same, wouldn't it? Because it has to be those equal pieces. So what is those? So this is an eighth, an eighth, an eighth, and an eighth. What's that? One eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. That's four eighths. So what do you notice about four eighths and one half? What do you notice? That one half is the same as four eighths. Hmm. Let's try another one. What's the shaded distance from zero to that mark? How much is that? How far is that? Did you say three-fourths? Because this is one-fourth. This is two-fourths. And this is three-fourths. Yeah. Well, what is equal or the same as? So what is this one? What do you see that one as? 
Did you say six eighths? Did you say six eighths? Well, how do we know if that's right? From here to here is what? One half. From here to here is not one half, one eighth. It's two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. Yeah, so those are six eighths. So three fourths is the same as six eighths. So today we've looked at equivalent fractions using a number line and seeing that on the number line model, it's equivalent because it travels the same amount of distance. So if you want to practice the skill of equivalent fractions using a number line, please go to handinmind.com where you can find more activities that will help you reinforce this skill. Hope you have a great rest of the day.